nations were once separated by borders, race, and economic boundaries, the whole world is now at your fingertips. Whether it's Europe, Asia, Africa, or Australia, the power of the internet has replaced those barriers with a new global information superhighway. What is this wave that is washing over the world and changing the way we work, think, and operate? More importantly, can its future really be understood or harnessed? Let's take a look back. The year is 1957. Sputnik is launched into orbit by the Soviet Union, thus demonstrating that the USSR could potentially attack any selected strategic location in the world. With that concern in mind, the concept of the Internet was created by the United States as a means to provide global communication in the event of, or in the aftermath, of a nuclear war. In the case that one or many of the major communication hubs were destroyed, important or vital information could be quickly rerouted through any one of a series of communication points or hosts. In 1969, the Pentagon's Advanced Research Project Agency sponsored the first real internet. The first four supercomputer communication points were located at UCLA, UC Santa Barbara, Stanford, and the University of Utah becoming the first four hosts of the internet. Because these sites were linked together, they allowed scientists and researchers to share one another's computers over long distances. From its birth, the number of hosts being added to the internet annually was staggering. By 1971, the number of hosts grew from four to 23. In 1973, Norway and England become the first foreign countries added to the internet. In 1977, the number of hosts breaks 100. In 1984, the number of hosts breaks 1,000, with the first news groups being introduced. In 1990, with the number of hosts exceeding 300,000, the world comes online with the first commercial internet service provider, allowing dial-up access from any home computer. In 1992, the number of hosts breaks 1 million and the World Bank comes online. In 1993, the number of hosts breaks 2 million and the United Nations and the White House come online. In 1994, the number of hosts nears 4 million and users can now access internet shopping malls, listen to FM radio, or even order a pizza right from their computer. Today, with the number of hosts at over 12 million and the estimated number of users online at over 150 million, the internet has already established this era as the information age. So what value does the internet hold for the average person? Well, the depth of the internet in terms of information and capability is already phenomenal and it's growing exponentially. To give you just a taste of the vast capabilities of the internet, you can now continue your education with online colleges, check the weather anywhere in the world, or research the mating habits of the panda in the San Diego Zoo. You can manage your bank accounts, balance your checkbook, transfer funds, and track your stock portfolios. You can leave personal and detailed messages with friends and relatives anywhere in the world, send urgent business messages, or organize remote conferencing. It's all available online at no extra cost. If you're a shopper, everything from software to sodas, movie tickets to magazines, restaurants to vacations, it's all right here, right now. As the song goes, I hope you're waking up to history because it's happening all around you.